Hey church, how's everybody doing? Um, I was called out by Eddie Arseniega, so here I am. Um, so my story, um, well I grew up in the church. Um, I was born on a Sunday and by Wednesday I was at uh, Bible study. Uh, grew up in the church, um, there at every service, kind of hard to miss when your dad's a preacher. Yep, preacher's kid. Um, went to a Spanish-speaking church in East LA, and since Eddie mentioned me, I'll call him out. We uh, every service we sat, my family sat in the second row on the, if you're looking at the congregation, on the right side, and if we looked across the aisle, there was the Arciniega family sitting across the aisle from us in the second row on the left side. Um. Like I said, grew up in the church, was always there, did uh, youth, did all the children's stuff, um, grew up. Uh, one of the things that uh, was really uh, pounded into us, pounded, pounded into us by uh, my dad is that uh, everybody stands on their own, right? You can't rely on the fact that your dad's a preacher isn't going to get you into heaven. Um, so from an early age, we realized um, my brothers and my brother and sisters that we had to make our own way um, in our Christian walk um, we had great examples in our church my parents uh, were definitely great examples of people who sacrificed everything for God um, God was definitely first in their lives and first in our family and um, that was an example we had and we had plenty of examples in our church uh, that showed us the exact same thing. Uh, two of two of a great example would be uh, Charlie and Becky Arseniega, um, my aunt and my uncle. So, like I said, grew up in the church. Um, I went off to the military um, and went off and got married to my wife. Uh, luckily, she was also from a church out in San Fernando Valley. So uh, we continued. I uh, had kids, came back to uh, this area, and in around 2001, kind of started visiting Diamond Canyon. Um, we felt very welcome. It was easy place to kind of assimilate, especially since we had family that was there. Our kids really enjoyed uh, the youth programs, the kids programs. They grew up in the church there. Um, I don't really have a big aha moment uh, in my life. Um, if I had to do um, one moment that really taught me a lesson, it was uh, about 10 years ago. No, about 15 years ago, I guess. Uh, our son was diagnosed with cancer. Um, he had a real hard time. He had a lot of pain, um, but throughout that whole time, um, he wouldn't miss a service. Uh, there was plenty of times where um, I would say, go, hey, Jake, look, you had a hard night. You've been in a lot of pain. What if we just stay home today? But he always said, no, no, I, I want to go to church. I want to be at church. Um, and uh, when I, you know, I'm not going to say those times were easy. I'm not going to do the whole, we were Christians and we were strong and everything was easy. Because it wasn't. I mean, there was a lot of emotions during that time. There was um, anger, a lot of anger. Uh, there was uh, hope. There was, um, I mean, the emotions just bounce off the wall, just back and forth, up and down. Um, anger towards God, anger towards church, anger towards the world. Um, but at the end, watching the way Jacob went through it, um, his strength, his courage, um, his faithfulness to God. It's kind of strange to say that my example for my Christian walk came from a 10-year-old little boy, but uh, at the end of the day, when life gets hard for me, when I start having um, doubts or when I start seeing that I'm kind of turning away from God, I think about what he went through, um, his faith during that time, his dedication to the church, um, his courage and that always makes me realize that no matter what I go through it's not going to be anything close to what he went through um, so that always brings me back to knowing that 
regardless of what we go through, regardless of the pain and suffering we're in, God is there for us, and he's never going to turn his back on us. Now, I don't know why those things happened. I don't understand why those things happen. Honestly, I don't like that those things happen. But at the end of the day, seeing his faith makes me have faith that everything happens for a reason. And one day I'll figure that out. Um, that's kind of all. Um, I'm going to challenge uh, Jim Fuller from our um, Inside Out LA location down in Echo Park. And I challenge him to come and bring uh, something for us next time. Thanks. Bye.